Hello everyone, I'm Brea Thorne. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly, where I do my best to help you find what you need during the worst personal computing shortage since 1347. Imagine trying to buy an abacus during the Black Plague. Sources tell me there was a bead shortage at ye old TSMC. Anyway, if you want a gaming computer, or if you want to build a gaming computer, you're kind of out of luck, but there is a way. We're going to look at some pre-built computers, look at the availability from several system integrators, and then you can just buy the whole PC, take it apart, put it back together, and you've built a PC. Hey, maybe put it in a better case, because most of these come with terrible airflow. So, we're actually going to start with Build Redux. And honestly, I have to uh, chide myself on my recent treatment of our friends at Build Redux. I've been a little hard on them because they tell us what their prices are for their parts, yet the prices are far above the pre-COVID MSRP or what was supposed to be the MSRP. But MSRPs are a joke now. They are a fantasy and uh, we do not live in that fantasy. We can only dream of it. So since pretty much every system integrator is going to have some upcharge or another on their hardware, we're just going to overlook that. Uh, let's just say Apex Legends and uh, Rainbow Six Siege and Doom Eternal, sure. And we're going to stick with 1080p. Now, something to keep in mind. If you're running 1440p or 4K, uh, something like a 1660 Super is not really going to cut it. Not that well anyway. Of course, we take what we can get. So, let's see what they throw at us. Well, we're looking at a $1,213 total price. That's quite good. Now, this is if we go with Intel. We switch to AMD, and it's gonna rebuild it, and it's gonna be $1,250. Let's uh, go ahead and stick with AMD, why don't we? So this comes with a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, four gigabyte card. Let's customize. <laughs> okay. Now, it appears as though there's a 3070 available for $855. That's only a little bit more than the 3060 Ti, but we're gonna go ahead and stick with the 3060 Ti here. Now, this obviously makes a solid difference in our price, but $1,684 is quite good. Actually, you know what? Let's hop up to the 3070. Bam, 1866. And with that, that's with a Ryzen 5 3600. And we do not have a uh, 5000 series processor in stock. So we're gonna go with the 3600. It's a proven gaming processor. And um, six cores, 12 threads, it's not bad. It doesn't have the new architecture, but you know, you're on the AMD platform, you can upgrade that. Now, if we take a look at the storage, we've got, um, let's see a 500 gig NVMe M.2 drive. And you can spend about $50 to go up to a one terabyte if you so choose. But yeah, there you go. Memory upgrades are available and it looks like it's a little bit pricey. I would probably get the memory separate if you're going to upgrade it. So let's apply those changes, bam. There's a pretty sweet deal from Build Redux. Now, the benefit of Build Redux is their build quality. Build is right in the name, and they spelled it correctly. Hallelujah. So, with that in mind, you're gonna have better cable management. Everything on the motherboard should be solid. So, that is the benefit of Build Redux. And if you look at this Cooler Master case that they use and slap their logo on, it is all about airflow. So, despite me trash talking these guys all over the place before I do recommend build redux if this is what you're looking for before we continue uh, I did read a, a study recently that showed that subscribing to my channel could actually make you 50% more handsome and or pretty so that's definitely something to consider when you're uh, watching this video anyway let's move on uh, going over to NZXT Build. Now, NZXT Build is great on their availability. They've had cards and they tell you exactly what you're looking at. They tell you exactly what kind of card you're going to get, what brand, what, uh, you know, what board partner makes it and what model it is. That's a big plus. Let's, uh, let's throw Apex at these guys. All right, cool. Pick your price. Now we're gonna start at the lowest of the low. 
So of course, here we are with the Core i5-10400. Okay, that is not an overclockable processor. It is a locked processor. And then a GeForce RTX 2060 with a Z490 motherboard, which is the previous generation. The Z590 is the current generation. So if we click AMD, it goes up by, oof, it goes up from, wait, did it? Didn't it start at 1300? The hell? I switched to AMD, I switched back to Intel and they added like 50 bucks. Okay. I'm glad I record this. Anyway, switching over to AMD, it goes up by about 150 to $200 to 1558. However, you have a 5000 series AMD processor. Now it does bring you down to a 1660 Super from the 2060. Uh, but let's configure it and see what's available. There's also a couple other things to take note of and I'll just point those out because this happens a lot if you choose AMD with, um, with NZXT. So looking at our GPUs, we can go up to the RTX 2060, RTX 3070, Eagle OC, eight gig card, and they of course have the 3090. Let me talk about the 3090 for a second. 3090 is a card for creators, 3D animators, people running geological software, uh, you know, geological rendering software. Uh, for those who are, you know, if you're, baller style and you're streaming or you just want to game at the most ridiculous level that you can just get it if you want it's a fantastic card and guess what they got the founders edition oh man i would love this but you know it's it it, it is extravagant it's an extravagant cost look at this so this actually is the mini itx case interesting I'm guessing we're going with a mini ITX. It is, it is a B450i, meaning it's a mini ITX motherboard. So for $20 more, you can go to the B550A Pro or $80 takes you to an X570 gaming edge Wi-Fi with Wi-Fi built in. Um, I would recommend that, but it's gonna tell you, I didn't fit in this case. Yeah, I know. So we're gonna start with the case. There we go. It's actually, they already did that for us and it selected that for us. So we're at 1638. You can save 60 bucks going to the B550 and let's just do that. Okay, so we selected the B550 and your GPU, go up to the 3070 and suddenly you're looking at 1908. Hmm. If you go to storage, you're only looking at, a you only have a 500 gig SS, M.2 SSD, but for $44, you can double that, and I would do that if I were you. You could even look at a, a Gen 4 SSD, and having that B550 and the 5000 series uh, processor, you can actually utilize that, uh, the read speeds on that. And power supply is gonna be a 650 watt gold, fully modular. For $30, I would go ahead and go with the 750 watt gold, just to give a little more headroom for the 3070. Not a super power hungry card, but they, and it doesn't, doesn't seem to have the same power spikes as a 3080 and 3090 do, but still. And we're looking at, as it says here, two, uh, 2x8 gig, so two 8 gig sticks of Team T-Force Delta RGB 3200 megahertz. The only upgrade I would recommend here is if you wanted to go up to the 3600 megahertz, and that would be an additional $50. Well, guess what? We just hit the $2,000 mark, $2,033. And um, this is why I sort of changed my mind on, on, on Build Redux. They, um, they're they not charging much more than anyone else for their graphics cards. Um, it could be them getting the extra money. It's hard to say. Uh, I'm not part of that supply chain, so I couldn't tell you where the uh, extra money is going above quote unquote MSRP. But um, yeah, you're at $2,000 here, but we have made some significant upgrades and I would say it's worth it. One upgrade that I do highly recommend most system integrators will put you on an AIO that is a 120 millimeter, meaning a tiny radiator that's 120 millimeters by 120 with a single 120 millimeter fan. 
They do this so that they can tell you it's a liquid cooled computer, but the liquid cooling capacity, the thermal capacity of that single fan AIO, that 120 mil AIO, is not enough for something like a 5000 series Ryzen processor, um, especially if you plan on, say, using Ryzen Master to do an automatic overclock. So you wanna either go with the Z63 with the LCD display, which is highly unnecessary, but very cool, or go with the 360 millimeter radiator, but that will necessitate going to, wow, it's $100 more. That one's only $70 more before. Again, I'm glad I filmed this stuff. Let's move on from NZXT build. You can see what graphics cards they have available and the selection is quite good, including that, oh, so nice Founders Edition RTX 3090. Damn, that is a sexy card. By the way, if you got any questions about the stuff I'm talking about now, uh, just, uh, you know what? Go to my stream every Sunday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Central, twitch.tv slash Brayathorn. I stream the video games and I talk a lot like this, but you know, with video games. That's probably better than this. I don't know. Or as another option, you could always join the Discord. There's a tech questions channel that you can hop right into and then ask me a question about tech. Tech is pretty much what I do and what I know. So I'd be happy to help you out. Um, anyway, moving on to iBuyPower. Let's see what they have for their same day ready systems. This is something I like to do with them because it's, it was a good experience for me and there's only two right now. And they're both very expensive. <laughs> But you have a system with a 6900 XT and another system with a 3090. Okay, I bought power. Mm -hmm. Little, little uh, ambitious there. Both of them are 11900 KF processors, the latest and greatest uh, from Intel. Don't start, don't, don't get me started on the on that uh, 11900. Don't get me started. Oh boy. Okay, we're, let's let's just see what they have if you just try to build a system, okay? Uh, we go for this, uh, there we go. Oh man, iBuyPower has all of the 5000 series processors. Can't be mad at that. Very, very nice, guys. Now, if we skip down here to what we're really interested in, we're looking at lead times. Now, every, every single GPU that is not just already shoved into a computer for their gaming ready, uh, computers has a lead time okay the shortest for nvidia other than the 1650 which we're just going to ignore is one week lead time for the 3090 and six weeks for the rtx 3070 some of these systems take a while no matter what you do so adding a month and a half to it if you really want that 3070 not the worst thing in the world but there you go it is available. This one is set up with a 3060, and there's an eight weeks lead time on that. It's 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 tough. It, this is tough. Um, lead times are no fun, but this is the kind of thing where you want to get in early, get it going, and then you'll get what you want if you're a little bit patient. I'm not, so we're moving on. So we're gonna go to CyberPower PC. We're gonna go to their instant ship systems and see if they have anything. I checked these randomly the other day and they had nothing. Uh, I checked them just now and they have nothing. Cool. So, nothing ready to go, nothing ready to ship from CyberPower PC. So if we're gonna customize this, oh, what, wait, 1709 with a 3600? Uh, what? All right. Uh, let's just customize this one. I, I just don't know. I mean, it has an RTX 3060, but... Uh, and there's no, no airflow. There's no airflow on the front of this case. Why do you hate air? We need it to live. But of course, this goes for both iBuyPower and CyberPower PC. Don't use their proprietary cases. Some of them are okay. And if you're not overclocking or doing anything too crazy, running a fire-breathing GPU, they have some airflow. It's something to be aware of with NZXT build as well. They use NZXT cases. NZXT not known for their high airflow, 
but there is some. You just need to max out your fans in there, in your, in your fan configuration, and you get nice positive air pressure in there, you'd be all right. But just these, these all glass on the front look cool, but they are the opposite of cool. But look, right here, you can get yourself a Corsair 4000D Series Airflow Edition for $31. That's a fantastic case, highly recommended. Fantex Eclipse P500A. You know what the A stands for? Stands for airflow. Uh, skipping all this and going to what matters. So 5000 series processors ready across the board, good to go. And going down, you see, this is what I'm talking about. Right here, they give you 120 millimeter AO and they say it's liquid cooled. Yeah, is it though? All right, skipping all that, going down to GPUs, okay. Looks like the shortest lead time on an AMD card, which they're doing a lot better with, is gonna be the two weeks lead time for both the 6800 XT and 6900 XT. Both high dollar cards, but high performance cards, very high performance. In fact, you're only looking at about $250 more for the 6900 XT than it is for the 6800 XT. Got, it's just so expensive. It really, really is. I know, I'm sorry. We're doing what we can. Now for a uh, an RTX card, um, for an Nvidia card, you're looking at six weeks lead times across the board for that. Now that's not bad. It's not as bad as some of the ones over on iBuyPower where you had eight week, 12 week lead times on some of them. Any one of these, pick any one you want, 3060 Ti, 3060, 3070, and 3080 all available in six weeks, which is when they would get it and start building your computer. And of course, set aside any parts that you order now, like a 5000 series processor, so that it's not out of stock when it's time to build your sweet gaming rig. Uh, yeah, they have the 3090s in stock right now though. If you got $2,000 for just your graphics card. Do you? Could you send me one too? So. Today, we're gonna add in a boutique builder. Well, sort of a boutique builder. They're uh, they're on the higher end, of course. Now, I haven't really looked, I have not looked much at what uh, Origin PC has right now. Let's see what they've got. Let's see if we look at desktops and go to gaming desktops. And, well, there's four models here. Cool. Um, 24, oh God. Nothing under $2,000. That's what I'm talking about. So starting at, looks like 2173 is the lowest starting price, right? And this would come, it says up to a 5950X or a Threadripper or 11900K or 10980XE CPU. So like the extreme CPU. Okay, so this is the core, the Origin Neur Neuron. Um, availability, cost and features. Um, where does the, where does the air come in? Let's go with the 4000D airflow, like I showed in the picture. Oh, you can get UV prints. Interesting. Now, let's go with the white one. Yeah, some of these guys will actually do like automotive style paint jobs for $400 on your PC. It's, I mean, it's very expensive, but it's the kind of thing where it's like, well, money is no object. And then Origin is like, oh yes, um, there's no prices on the menu because if you need to know the price, you can't afford it. Okay, cool. Thanks, I'll go elsewhere because I can't afford it. I cannot. Uh, so this system would come with a 10700K great gaming processor and it's unlocked so you can overclock it if you want. Z590A Pro, uh, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance, 3000 megahertz. 16 gigs of 3000 megahertz for how much? Oh, it's at the bottom, uh, 2139. What's the GPU though? We gotta know, 6700 XT. Cool. I mean, they've got, they've got stock. They have this, look, if you go with 3080, it's $770 more. It's a, a pittance, a mere pittance. Uh, all right, but 3070 is only 296 more. So we select that. And uh, that is going to beat out a 6700 uh, XT. 6700 XT is somewhere between the 3060 Ti and the 3070 on average FPS and all that good stuff from what I recall. But yeah, now you're looking at, oh, okay. 
2435 just $2,500 um oh god man why am I here go AMD see what they have 5000 series processors we're taking off wait oh whoa 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 what thermal compound is an additional $15 It's not an option, guys. Origin, you can't just make thermal compound not the default. You have to have thermal compound. What are you doing? Why are you charging these people $15 to do the bare minimum? What's wrong with you? You know what? This is not a good deal. This is what I'm talking about when I say more on the boutique side. Boutique builders, they sell you the experience of and the privilege of buying from them. I'm not against it. And honestly, it was a little bit more reasonable before even they started having to spend a ton extra on it. But it's not inherently better just because it costs more. Because guess what? What kind of AIO do they give you in this very fancy, very expensive computer? Oh, 120 millimeter AIO, but it's liquid cooled. Here's my deal on this, all right? I've been asked uh, repeatedly out of all these sites, who's better? Who's the best? Can you rate this one and, and, and give, a, give us a rating? Um, to me, the reason I say, oh, this place is the winner, it's, it's, it's availability, okay? Because this right here is what some people would think is, oh, it's the best. Why? Why is it the best? Because you were told it was the best? Because you paid more? This is still a 120 millimeter AIO but you're paying $2,400. So they're, they're, they're really just, there is no real scale for who's better. Different system integrators have their pros and their cons. Uh, some of them just straight up con you. Uh, but really, when it comes down to it, what you're buying when you buy one of these is you're buying a whole basically every component that you need to build a computer they just happen to have been slapped together already now if there's a loose cable there's a loose cable and you tighten the cable if there's a faulty component that can happen to you no matter where you buy your stuff it's electronics electronics can be doa and it's not necessarily the fault of the system integrator. It's the manufacturer. And it's not necessarily their fault either. Maybe it's the shipping. It, it could be the same thing if you went and bought yourself uh, a new AIO from Best Buy or something. You could come home, plug it in, and it's faulty. That doesn't make the system integrator any worse or any better. The only thing in our current, uh, in, in, in the current landscape of personal computing, the only thing that matters right now is availability. Now, customer service will play a part. It will play a part in there um, because if one of those things happens, uh, I hope it doesn't happen to you, but if something like that does happen, you're gonna have to deal with their customer service. And there's been times where a company that gets great ratings on customer service does you wrong, does you wrong, because every company is made up of people. The only thing I can say is research what you're getting, what you really want, all of that. Pay attention to the parts you're getting. Act as if you were shopping for computer components yourself, because all you're doing by getting a pre-built is getting all of those parts, yet they just so happen to already have been pieced together in very fancy packaging. You're getting a GPU with really fancy packaging around it that just so happens to be an entire computer. Now let's take a look at the comment of the week from last week's video. 
Christopher Ormond said, You do realize he has just doomed us all. Quote, I will keep doing it every week until this is no longer an issue and availability is plentiful. End quote. He just guaranteed us quite a long series. Well, Christopher, can I call you Chris? Uh, first off, thank you for commenting on my videos. You're very consistent with that, and I appreciate that. Uh, I love interacting with you guys when you comment, and I do try to my best to come uh, to reply to pretty much every comment. But uh, yes, I guarantee you a long series. And guess what? Even if this does end at some point ever, I'll find something else to talk about because I love talking about this stuff, and I love helping you guys out with tech because it's not going to be just a light switch. Everything's available again. We're going to have a long climb back up that hill to where everything is at MSRP and available, and you can just decide to build a computer and then all the parts are there. But Chris, thank you very much for commenting and uh, you win um, my attention for the last, you know, three minutes or so and me talking about you. That's the prize. Uh, it's something. Anyway, um, I don't suppose there was a moral to the video this time. There wasn't really anything that really stood out. Uh, NZXT tends to have some of the better availability. Build Redux had good availability, but a terrible motherboard. Let's just leave it at that. Because honestly, it's not a fairy tale. There's no perfect happy endings, but we're doing our best. And if you have questions, you have anything, anything to ask me, go to the stream Sundays and Thursdays or grab me on Discord or just comment here. And um, if you like this, I suggest signifying that liking thereof by hitting the button designated with the thumbs up. That's a like. It lets me know you liked it. So uh, that's going to be it for this week. Until next time, you guys take care.